This channel is for adult toy collectors only. What does that mean for you? That means if you're under the age of 18, just like the WWE did in the early thousands, you get the F out. What is up, fellas? I'm your host, Transaron38, coming to you with some more Transformers action. Today we're taking a look at the new Transformers Legacy Generation Selects DK2 Guard. Which is basically your repaint of Ironhide. They're giving us an awesome repaint. I'm actually glad they're giving us this because if uh, some folks want to tear this figure apart and just repaint them uh, Ironhide, they can go right ahead. But anyway, you get your nice Generation Selects box just like how we got with Lift Ticket. Uh, you got the nice artwork here as well. But open the figure. Right there's the figure right there. And there is no plastic anyway with these guys. Here's the cardboard ties. So we're going with plastic free packaging. So yeah, let me get him out of his cardboard prison and see what he's all about, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to my channel. Cue that intro. Yeah. yeah. Did you just throw out a bunch of toy boxes and now have a giant gaping hole in your closet? Then head on over to ToyFiendCult.com and fill that hole with some badass t-shirts. Alrighty folks, here is the new Transformers Legacy slash Generation Selects DK2 Guard. Which is a uh, awesome repaint of your original Ironhide mold from... Transformers Earthrise. It was the two pack that came with Prowl. Um, unfortunately, I wish I wish they would have just done a uh, re-release of Ironhide and Prowl separately uh, because a lot of folks did not get that box set. But I, I actually did see the box set starting to go down on them. But anyway, here is your version of the Diaclone release of Ironhide before he uh, got in. Uh, if I may be uh, correct. But uh, this is the Die Clone version of Ironhide before he was imported over to the Transformers toy line in the U.S. And uh, he was uh, he was became the red the red van instead of the, the the black van here. So anyway, I love it that they're giving us a Die Clone version of Ironhide, and uh, definitely I can't can't wait to see what Reaper labels come up with this guy. But anyway, moving right along, here is. The packaging is this DK2 Guard Transformers Legacy. Got the nice picture right there. And uh, you open it up and the figure's inside. And uh, you got a plastic free packaging. Yeah. So, all that good stuff. Yeah, if you open it up, there's where the figure would be. And uh, there's no plastic ties in, in this one this time. Uh, there is all just cardboard ties. So, hey, that's cool. That's cool. But, I know, right? I have two of them. Yeah, I have one. I have uh, have to stop and give them my good buddy Star Scream on Instagram on the way into work here later tonight or tomorrow, depends on. But all in all, like I said, there this is going to be a quick review because this is a uh, figure that we really got before, but it's a nice repaint and uh, update. Now, obviously, you got to bring in Ironhide for the size comparison as well because he's a complete repaint of Ironhide. Yeah, Ratchet's part of the mold as well, but uh, Ratchet has a different head sculpt compared to Ironhide. But basically, it's the same vehicle mode. Still got those ridiculous feet sticking out on the back, which there is a fix for that, a 3D printed fix. I do believe Larkin, Larkin, uh, Larkin's Lair uh, uh, did some feet for it, and I think uh, a couple other, other 3D printer designers did as well. I think Firetox did too. Um, but all in all, very cool and uh also just want to say say to you got you folks thank you for the 1000 subscribers it's like it means so much to me uh being part of uh being on youtube for years and uh giving you guys content and i enjoy doing this this is basically a hobby for me uh doing videos and stuff for everyone but uh thank you very so much from deep down my heart thank you for uh supporting me through the years guys definitely thank you so much so just like like you said, if there's going to be a give, uh, like everyone thinks, there might, there is going to be a giveaway coming soon. Don't know what, but very soon. But anyway, just want to let let you guys know. Definitely, like I said, though, uh, it's basically your Iron Hide mold. 
basically. So you got the color demonstration. This is actually a new figure. I actually got this there uh, uh, like about three, four weeks ago at least. Um, this was brand new. It's like it might be just the way the colors has break. It keeps on using the different color plastics. Um, but all in all, it's iron hide. I know, right? It's just iron hide. So yeah, very cool. I love the gold stripe. I love the yellow, yellow, well the yellow gold, yellow gold or red stripe that's on the side of the vehicle. Really love it. Gives you that nice uh, diclone, diclone vibe once again. I was like, I'm actually love the diclone colors. And I was like, if it wasn't for diclone, we wouldn't have got transformers. So, which is pretty awesome indeed. So, not much going on. Like I said, we do have a couple of, uh, figures here for size comparison. Here is Silver Streak. Hopefully, it's not Brown Streak. <laughs> if you get what I mean. <laughs> Here's Silver Streak. Another Datsun. Here's Smokescreen. Gotta put my buddy Smokescreen in there. Love it. Put Smokescreen in there. Love it. And yeah. Very cool. Like I said though, it's like that's your basically your same iron hide mold. I love the silver. They put silver on the headlights and the grill, the bumper. Well, the bumper here, the grill. Very cool. Got some clear windows going on here. Wish they would have finished that gold stripe there. But hey, it is what it is, I guess. And it still gives us the same wheels that we got with the War, uh, War for Cybertron Siege. They never did change the wheels. But anyway, we'll go ahead and just transform this guy. Just come with a nice little Autobot logo up on top. Go ahead and untab the top of the shield piece just comes right off like so spread the legs all right they're done bring the bumper down rotate bring out the arms right down Bring this section up, rotate, bring it up, and you got robot mode. Yeah, I mean, I never did, I uh, got a chance to review the Earthrise uh, box, uh, two-pack box set of uh, Ironhide and Prow, and then the Ratchet, what was it, Ratchet and uh, the Paradon Drone. I did do the Paradon Drone because I found a cheap one ebay someone just want didn't want the drone so i picked it up but i finally do get got ratchet and i was like i never did get a chance to review the the van this van mold but all in all very cool so yeah you still get that uh flip out blaster piece right here and then you got like the so you can peg it in on a shoulder here what you want right here and you get his gun that was in storage as well in vehicle mode. So, so there he is. He's a little lopsided with that damn shield. But all in all, still an awesome figure to add to your Transformers collection. Especially if you love the colors that Diaclone gave us. And I said, like I said, lopsided. He is a lopsided. He lopsides. <laughs> it's freaking crazy, ain't it? crazy yeah it's like I may be a little bit late to the party on uh, reviewing the DK DK2 guard but Hasbro Pulse took forever to get this guy and I'm transforming Ironhide off off camera here and double good size comparison going on with this these two so anyway here is Ironhide and DK2 Guard. Diaclone version of Ironhide, obviously. Obviously, you can see the differences in the color. The colors I did they used with them. They look really good. <clears throat> obviously, the that damn uh, 
shield piece is just too oblong, but you can flip that up and then just have it stored on the back if you want. Um, so you can actually just do that, which I'm not, I'm not too much worried about uh, backpack kibble, but there you go. See how they look together. All right, size comparison even more with Prowl. And trying to get, grab skids off the shelf here. And you got legacy skids. See how they look together. So yeah, very cool. Love it what they did with this guy. I love it. I love it. Like I said, the the, the lines right here on the legs make him really nice with the gold the gold lines right there. Can't wait to see what Reaper Labels does. I love those blue eyes. The blue eyes going on there with this. Very awesome. You got the silver gun, which obviously you can peg peg the gun on the back here for storage as well. Or just keep it in his hand. But all in all, very cool figure. Same articulation with the iron hide mold and ratchet mold, obviously. And uh, he's a lot stiffer compared to uh, the original releases as like um, like the Siege. But uh, they really did a uh, up, nice update and a repaint of the iron hide mold. Which, which I could probably see a lot of folks grabbing this guy and uh, definitely going to go and repaint him. Uh, repaint him. Uh, Ironhide, definitely. I can really see a lot of folks probably buying a couple of these guys and get uh, get your Ironhide. Um, but it's either that or just army build these guys into a drone, like uh, what was it, the Decius drone as well. So yeah, very cool. Highly recommended, folks. So there is the new Transformers Legacy Generation Selects DK2 Guard. And uh, I picked it. I got this up from Hasbro Pulse. Hasbro Pulse took forever to get here. It took like two two weeks to get here. Um, it's it's weird how they uh, do the shipping on them. But anyway, so there is the new Transformers Legacy Generation Selects DK2 Guard. I'm yours, Transaron38. Talking again. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment on any videos I do. Keep a lookout for any new videos headed your way. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll follow you back. Um, if I ever try to remember, I'll put my Instagram link in down in the description down below. Um, so yeah. So until next time, I'm your Strange Aaron 38. Don't forget to check out uh, everybody else's links down in the description down below. And also uh, keep a lookout. There'll be a giveaway coming soon since I reached a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm, I'm very blown, just blown away. Uh, and I appreciate everyone's support. Thank you again, guys and gals. So yeah, definitely. We're looking forward to uh, giving you guys some more awesome content, and there will be a, uh, a giveaway in the near future. So, yeah. Anyway, folks, I'm your Transaron38. I'm out of here. Later. And transform and roll out. Yeah.